Let's see how the circular and rectangular pattern commands work. First we'll sketch a circle. Place it on the horizontal plane, pick its center point, and then its diameter. To pattern a sketch around it, that sketch has to be on a different sketch plane. So I'll click Stop Sketch, and then I'll start a new one, this time a line sketch, and I'll click first on the work plane, not on the circle sketch, and that puts this sketch on a different plane than the circle is. I need to be in the sketch to pattern it, meaning if I were to stop the sketch now, I'd be out of it. To go back into it, I select the sketch, right-click, and choose Edit Sketch. Now I'm going to select it, click Circular Pattern. There are seven objects selected. I'll Click Select for the center point, click the center point, and here are three copies. And by dragging this handle, I can add copies, and if I drag it backwards, I subtract copies. I can also click how many copies I want in this text field and click OK to finish. Now let's look at the rectangular pattern. I'm going to sketch a rectangle and now I'll click rectangular pattern. Select the rectangle and click Rectangular Pattern. Now I'll move the arrows, or I can just type the quantity that I want here. And if I click on the check mark, that deletes that copy. And that's how you use the rectangular pattern.